Welcome to another episode of What Grinds My Gears. Man, it is an exhausting day. Uh, if you guys saw my picks earlier, yeah, that was uh, that was suspension work and steering bearings and some other stuff, you know, kind of thing. So, things that grinds my gears. Please, I don't care who you are, do not use red Loctite on fender bolts. <laughs> All right. They're just bolts to hold the fender on the front. You don't need red Loctite on them. They go into the forks, the fork lowers, which is more expensive. And also we had to get a machinist out here so he can be able to drill them out and I'll retap them and all that. It took about two hours for him to do those because they were just literally heat welded into it. It's aluminum into steel. I don't get it, but and then the stem bearing, that's an issue right there. That thing is rusted solid, never been touched in 15 years of its existence. And also, they were bad, they were seized up and I was like wondering why I was going, trying to turn right or left. It just didn't want to work as Wayne Shackner's, you know, invitation would have gone there. Um, so yes, other things, when I find things wrong, like Taking off your caliber, finding out that the retaining pin that holds the brake pads in place is not there, and they'll, and then you loosen the caliber up a little bit, and the pads just fall down, and one of them's wedged in there, wondering why it's barely trying to move the wheel. And I'll, all right, I'm gonna call and tell you about it. Do not get mad at the messenger, man. Well, the last shop did the brakes and all that. Then you know that's what they did. They put everything back. That we don't have the parts here. I'm like, I'm just asking if you had them. I don't know who did it. But they didn't put your brake pads back in. They didn't put the little retaining spring clip in there, nor did they put the retaining bolt in there, which is the retaining pin for the, on the brake pads. Those could have you know, came out, seized up, locked up the front wheel, and you could have flipped over those handlebars, sir. Right? Well, can, now, I need the bike before you leave on Thursday, which everybody, I am leaving Thursday for 10 days. I'll be gone. I've been posting that for about a month now. Actually, a month and a half. So I will be gone. So if I did not get to your bike, it'll be got to when I got back here, okay? I do have people that are gonna be coming by, check on the place, all that stuff and everything. So uh, on that one, um, so if I don't get to it, I'll get to it when I get back. All right, which leads me to the other thing. If I tell you I'm three to four weeks out, I'm literally three to four weeks out, please don't call me week one and go, hey, what's wrong with it? Hey, can you do this? Hey, do that. There's other people in front of you. Now, there are some people that, there are some things I can do, oil changes and tires and stuff like that. In between people, drop it off in the morning. I can have it by that day or lunch the next day kind of thing. So just so you know, and I'll, but man, if you if you drop your bike off and I tell you I'm three or four weeks out and you call me two days later going, hey, is the bike ready? And I'm like, nope, three more weeks. Well, I need it for this ride. I got crushed the coast or cruising the coast or, or, you know, or jumping off the coast. I don't know all those in two days and I need my bike. Well, I have an expedient fee. If you want to be number one, it's 300 bucks an hour. If you want to be expedited, it's, you know, I put 120 bucks an hour on top of my charge kind of thing. But that's how, that's how this goes, guys. And unfortunately, I'm just, I can't bump you because you want it faster than the next guy. All right, they dropped it off early. Especially you ATV guys out there. You drop it off one day and you're like, I need it tomorrow, so you know, I need a valve job and you know a top end build by tomorrow so I can go hunting. Dude, you had nine months to bring it here for that? You said it's been smoking all this time. <laughs> so sorry guys, it's just not gonna be that fast. I'm trying to um, but uh anyway. So that part those are grinding my gears moments. Do not call me. And then if you, if I call you, or I send you messages, and I'm sending you pictures of stuff, and you're like, yeah, the last shop did that, you know, okay, you're missing stuff. Well, you're gonna charge me for that? Well, yeah, you don't have what you need on your product, all right? So yes, I'm not gonna fork cash out so you can be able to do it, which also leads me to another darn thing. Holy crap, three customers have done this. I have told them just to come get their bike, okay? So my vendors, I have certain vendors I go through. All shops have vendors because we have, they can get specific parts. We have a specific price we get them for. 
and all. We don't go, excuse me, a long day. We don't go off eBay. We don't go, you know, buy stuff off of random, like, home build shops now. We actually have parts vendors that we get stuff from. Our parts vendor says, hey, it's going to be three or four days to get stuff. And I call and tell you and everything. Um, and you're like, well, I called so and then you call me back. Hey, I called so-and-so in, in Oregon, another shop in Oregon. How would you even know to call a place in Oregon? Well, I've called them before for parts. Okay. Well, they got the part. They just said call them and they can send it to you. I was like, okay, well, why didn't you order the part to ship it to me? Why do I want to spend my money on it? I mean, you're the shop. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, so you didn't want to order the part that you could have got the warranty in your name for and send it to me. You want me to order the part for you and I use shop money to order a part outside our vendors and then you want to overnight it. Okay, I see how this is working. So I kindly tell everybody, if it's outside my vendors and you're calling me to order parts from other people, there's a 10% extra charge on there. Because I'm floating money for you. I don't, this isn't like, if you had bought the part and sent it to me, great. I'm like, send me the tracking info so that way if it's not here on the day it's supposed to be here, I can call you saying, hey, this part is not here. And also, but when you call and tell me that, hey, I'm not spending any money on this. I want you to spend your money and get it for me. There's an extra cost on that, man. So, I just want to let you guys know that part grinds my gears, guys. That really ticks me off when someone does that. I will tell you to come get your stuff and go home. I am very picky choosy on what I do here. You know, I've been doing this for five years now. I post on all the forums out there. I've developed new techniques that people have been taking and using, you know, which is fine by me. I don't really even care about that part. You know, so I've done, I already did what I needed to do in this town kind of thing. So, and, um, and so, um, anyway, there's a, so yes, I've done stuff in, uh, one, uh, here and there, and I don't need someone to call and yell at me, telling me, hey, this is what I want you to do. Now, yes, if you ask me nicely, hey, you know, I, I won't get paid till Friday, and I know the part won't be here till Friday, can you go ahead and just order the part, and then I'll just pay you on Friday. I'm a super awesome guy, I will do that. I front money for a lot of people and a lot of their parts here kind of thing because I have your bike here. If you don't show up, I know the bike is worth a little bit more. I'll just sell the bike afterward, which I've almost sold one bike. Guy showed up two and a half months later to pick it up. Didn't argue about storage fees or nothing. He's like, I'm so sorry. I just, I totally forgot I even had a bike here. And I'll, even I called him and all that. He goes, yeah, my number changed and all that other stuff. So. But I paid the storage fees and picked up his bike, no problem. Other people, they get flip out when they have storage fees. So Alabama, 48 hours before you can find a, uh, file a mechanic's lien. I give you 72 hours after the date of notification, meaning that the bike is, the estimate done, has been done, and what this is what needs to be done, or the bike has been completed, and you need to come get it. Unless we have an agreement between each other that say I do it, I call you on Monday, and you're like, I don't get till for, until paid for Friday. Well, you got till Wednesday. I'll let you go to Friday, but if you ignore me, don't answer your phones, don't answer your Snapchat, Instagram, Bumble, Tinder, I don't know where you're on, and I'll, then you get some storage fees for Thursday and Friday and the weekend as we go, all right? So, reiterate, no Loctite on fairing bolts, fender bolts, all right? Don't need it. If you're going to put red Loctite in there, you might as well just put concrete in there. You know, and say, hey, this will never ever come off. Guaranteed, wreck or not, it'll never go anywhere. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get people to drill stuff out and it costs extra to drill stuff out. That's not part of the diagnostic fee and all that stuff, which we do have a diagnostic fee here. You know, every bike that comes in here that we don't know what the problem is, gets a diagnostic fee. Now, if I know you have a flat tire on the back, you're not gonna diagnostic because we all know it's a flat tire on there, all right? So uh, other things that we're gonna be working on is appointments. 75% of you guys are great on appointments. You guys say, I'll be there at 11 to, dr to drop it off and we get the work done. The other 25%, no. I give you guys, I normally wait an hour. That's an hour I lose and billable hours there because I, I can't use the lift because I'm waiting to leave the lift over there. So now if you want an appointment time, there's a $25 charge that gets applied to your bill 
you know so if you have a hundred dollar bill you only owe 75 at the end but you have a 75 or you have a 25 dollar charge and you have a 15 minute window to contact me so if you book out at 11 at 11 16 you lose your 25 dollars and then we have to reschedule you another time you know because you didn't bother to call me tell me you're gonna be late or whatever or you want to reschedule and you cannot show up at three o'clock in the evening going hey i'm here i need to get the uh spark plugs done and the tire change and all that you know because i gotta go to work in an hour not gonna work brother sorry so those are new things there just gonna reiterate i will be gone this thursday for 10 days i won't have my phone it's gonna go to voicemail leave voicemails if i don't answer your call when you call me four times back to back to back because i'm doing something please just leave me a voicemail it makes it so much easier because i'll check the voicemail and then i'll call you right back you know when i call you back you don't answer i text you right after going hey i just called you call me you know kind of thing so all right guys hope you guys have a good rest of the week i'm going to be here till thursday morning i'm sorry at least thursday morning i'll be here till friday afternoon so get your stuff in here or come pick it up one of the two and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.